Marshmallow Fanboy back with another review, this time of Masters of the Universe He-Man from the Masters of the Universe film. It's part of the Masterverse line. Now, it's not as cool as the Super 7 version. And uh, I'm going to do both He-Man and da -da -da -da, Skeletor. That's right, Skeletor. And I think that the Super 7 had a really, really nice Dolph Lundgren likeness. It was really cool. And I don't think that maybe Mattel has the license to do Dolph Lundgren's, um, what would you call it, his likeness. So they sort of made it look like kind of classic He-Man and they made it look sort of Dolph Lundgren-ish with a kind of a older He-Man, like an original Mattel He-Man head sort of. Like if we're getting close. The head that he has on is Dolph Lundgren-esque. And this head is very um, original action figure-esque. Uh, it isn't exact, it's just esque. It's very, you know, this head, kind of animated series vibe, and this head is close enough not to get you sued. But otherwise, I think the armor details and everything else is exact to the movie. As far as this goes, the Skeletor, I think, I don't know if, because Skeletor is is made up, it doesn't really have to look like Frank Langella. It just has to look like Skeletor. And Frank Langella was made up like Skeletor, so I don't think you have to license the likeness for that. So it looks really good. There's no alternate head to that. Which which tells me that it's it looks like the movie. As as far as I remember the movie. I, I always have to preface it like that. I don't I don't remember super well. It's not ingrained in my memory what that what that skull head looked like, but I know what Dolph Lundgren looks like. And that's not Dolph Lundgren. So let's see, there's side art. It's very cool. Sorry, it's so close to the camera, but these things are are pretty long. I can back them up a little bit. Very cool artwork on the back. My complaint, as always, is that on the the Origins figures, there's some some nice place to cut where you can cut out a little file card. And, and this artwork is amazing. And then there's a little description. And that artwork would be amazing on maybe a, a card that you could collect and put away. And that goes for uh, Skeletor as well. Let me see if he has the... He has the cool art on the on the side. Looks just like Frank Langella. That looks that looks really good. The let's see, side by side, the Dolph Lundgren likeness. No, it just doesn't look like anything like him. You can't accuse them of using his likeness when it looks that sort of um, uh, unlike him. I was gonna say bad, but I was like, well, it doesn't look bad. It's just just not him. And Skeletor, very cool. Artwork. I'm glad we're getting new artwork for Masters of the Universe after all these years. It's very cool. I do wish the the He Man looked more like Dolph Lundgren and more like kind of like movie art. That'd be very cool. But I'm very happy with with the artwork. Of course, as as an out of box collector, I am going to toss this in the dumpster. So people who are uh, going through the dumpster might say that is a very cool <laughs> picture of Frank Langella. I, I don't think that'll happen. I don't think that's a conversation. It would be fun if that happened, maybe, but I don't I don't think it's going to happen. So that is Masters of the Universe He-Man and Skeletor from the Masters of the Universe film as done by Mattel's Masterverse series, which didn't license the likeness. The Super 7 version was really beautiful. It was just really pricey. It was very pricey. And I'm not going to lie, I do have... Some of the Ultimates figures, some of the, um, the those figures, but they're just, I can't get them all the time. And I thought, ah, I'll just, I'll just skip these because I wasn't a huge fan of the movie. I was when I was a kid and as an adult, I have a, a very, um, I have an affection for that film, but I don't want to watch it. So, so I guess you could say like, maybe I'm not a big fan going forward as an adult, but, but I... I do super appreciate that it was a thing and that I got to see it as a kid and that I, I really did love it as a kid. And because, because of, you know, that you couldn't rewatch movies right away and go with your parents and these things didn't hit network television 
you know, for a long time sometimes, and there weren't any VCR tapes or uh, or anything when the movie came out, so it was, you couldn't. There was a lot of things you couldn't do to to rewatch this movie. So by the time you did see it, it had been years, and you were watching it again with a fresh eye, going, "Oh, I like this. Oh no, <laughs> but." I'm going to take these out. I'm going to look at it as a nostalgia thing. I was, I'm was i super happy to add these to the collection. I'm super happy to open these. I'm just... the This is coming out completely wrong. You're like, he hates everything. I don't. I don't. I just wasn't a huge fan of the um, of the movies. So, God, I've, I said that like eight times. Okay. Uh, let's break them out and see what we think of them. Now that they're out of the package, let's take a closer look at Skeletor and He-Man... For the Masters of the Universe film, part of the Masterverse Deluxe line. First, let's take a look, take a look at Skeletor. He has a key. If I'm not mistaken, this was the key to the universe when this thing was deployed. I think uh, these keys... Let me see if I can make that less blurry. But the, the keys in silver would sort of pop out and rotate. And you'd see sort of a map of the universe. And it was kind of an instrument, but you could access other universes and I think Skeletor was trying to get to these other universes so he could conquer them but it's really nice it could use a little wash on the silver part the there's the nice kind of a uh, copper sorry it's, it's more of brass I think there's not not a lot of difference between the two but then there's the strap that you can carry it with I don't think that the strap deploys or anything I think the strap is just decorative but it's a, it is a nice touch and then the purple top that's really nice shiny like Skeletor's armor so that's really cool he comes with extra hands in his hands he has two grabby hands but he has a fist and an open palm in, in case he wants to slap somebody because that's very much a Skeletor move ah he man slap slap did I put a K in slap 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 you know what the K stays and then there's the cool uh, Skeletor hand. Of course, it has the cybernetic attachments on the on the hands, and of course, on the other one it did as well. the The nails are are silver. The it's kind of the exoskeleton sort of touch on the gloves. Very cool. So let's take a closer look at Skeletor first. Let us take the sword out of his hand. Do do do. Skeletor sword. Very cool. It's a really nice, nicely engraved. It looks really cool. Very long. Very cool. That is a really cool sword. It's about as long as He-Man's sword. So it's like they both have kind of equal swords. They're not fighting for swords or Castle Grayskull in this one. They're fighting for other universes. And let's see the staff. It's not like Skeletor's regular staff, though they did put a kind of a ram's head on top. Um, I don't know if you'd consider that a ram's head. It's very kind of demonic, and it's a little more kind of upsized for the movie. It's got a cool back to it. I don't remember if he wields it and if he does magic from it, but it's very cool. There's some... some uh, kind of grips along the way but I don't know what they they clip into or if they're there for maybe his fist to get around to hold better maybe I'm not sure but it's very cool it's got the little hooks right at the top too these uh these hooks here they're very cool yeah, the whole thing is just really really well done really nicely done all right, so let's go through some of the details on Skeletor first. Let's go through the, the face. The face looks very much like Skeletor. I don't know if that's movie accurate, but in my memory, that's extremely movie accurate. But I can't, I can't be absolutely sure. And I'm using the device that I would usually use to look this stuff up, so I can't look it up right now. So... <laughs> So, he's got the armor, really nice sculpting on the armor. Really nice sculpting on the front of the armor. 
these two, I don't know, the, the kind of the robe things that come down are really nice. They're individually painted and they start out thick, but like film, kind of like film reels, they sort of get a little bit smaller, like they're moving or something. And it is very cool in person. It's very cool. The armor, super cool. Let's see if I can move these out of the way. The, the emblem on the belt, the skull. The uh, there's some there's some sculpting right on the cod piece, um, right on the boots. There's a there's a skull at the top of the boot, right there. And there's these. These are actually uh, bumpy. They're actually molded on. Very cool. And because they're molded on, there's enough of a point of difference that they are clearly visible. Because the 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 mat is kind of a is kind of a flat black, and the other is kind of a shiny black, so it kind of pops pops a little bit more than it would. He's got cybernetic gloves, which I don't know if cy of if Skeletor in the movie was more kind of cybernetic than anything, but he's got the kind of the little gauntlets. I don't remember if they do anything, but those are really cool. Yeah, the whole figure is really cool. The the cape drapes really nice on the back. And because it was taped, it's sort of... I, I wish it, ha it did have uh, wired articulation so you could kind of do something with it. And it didn't just kind of hang, like, kind of all folded. But he's also got this really nice gold spot on the back. And, of course, the hooded the hood is a very, very cool touch. It would have been nice to have a head that didn't have the hood so that you could display it that way as well, but... But I, I'm super happy with this as is. But let's go over the articulation. I'm gonna say no head up. There's a there's a piece that comes right down to the back that sort of um, a blocks articulation from that that end. Yeah, there's no head down because of the scarf is blocking it from that direction too. Uh, I will say no side to side. I mean, there's a little head movement, but I think I don't think it stays in the position you put it in. Because of the the armor plate, and it's, it's solid armor over here. Oh, it floats on top of the muscle. I see. It floats on top of the muscle, so you can get the arm all the way around if you want to. Pretty good wingspan. His arms come out to about there. Bicep swivel. Double elbows. Wrist swivel. Wrist hinge, mid torso rocker, ball jointed legs, thigh swivel, double knee, boot swivel, foot hinge, and ankle rocker. And that's Skeletor in one of the coolest figures in the Masterverse line. He's got a lot of detail. Mattel did a really great job on him. Now let's check out He-Man. And first, let's uh, empty his weapons cache. He has a lot of holsters. I put I put knives in his boot and in this holster here. This holster is for the pistol, I imagine. There's a holster on his on his back that I think holds the sword, but it doesn't do a really good job of, of holding the sword very well. I'll show you what I mean after I get the laser gun squared away. If I take off the sword, if I put it back here, there is a point where it kind of blocks. See, it goes right in there and it, and it stops. If I wanted to uh, give it a little extra... Oh, I maybe maybe it's supposed to be out like that. It just looks super weird. I don't know, does it go through something? Is it supposed to go through... Oh! So this goes through here. Oh! And into the scabbard here. Oh! I'm solving problems in real time. That's what happens. I gotta get it a little bit... Um, a little bit more in. Yeah, that's perfectly done right there. And then the cape probably goes over a little and leaves a, an unsightly bump. Or maybe you can 
just get the cape sideways a little bit. Maybe it looks a little bit like that. Okay. Yeah, that's where the sword goes. I, I wasn't entirely sure. I was like, that's a weird place to put the sword. So all of his weapons, all the weapons he comes with have a place. Two knives, the gun, and the sword, and the scabbard that you run through his back and then down to the scabbard dangling at his waist. Other than that, he has two extra hands. One kind of open hand and one fist. One fist to punch, of course, and the other hand to ask for royalties. Hey, I look enough like Dolph Lundgren that I should be getting paid for Dolph Lundgren money. So, uh, cough, cough it up, sir. I don't know why I made that sound a little bit weird, but yeah. Fist and open hand. And he comes with an alternate head, because if he's going to have no Dolph Lundgren likeness, he might as well have... Sort of a, a G1 He-Man sort of head. The sword has some nice design. It's not as nice as Skeletor's, but the color's a little bit nicer. The the brown on the handle, the gold, um, or brass on the, on the... I don't know what you would call the rest of it on the rest of the sword. But long and, let me see, side by side. His and Skeletor's about the same size. That's nice. And they look pretty much the same, except He-Man is gold and Skeletor is silver, which sort of matches their motif, because a lot of Skeletor's features are clad in silver, and a lot of He-Man is in gold, like these and these. We'll take a closer look when I, when I get rid of all the weapons. Okay, there's this laser gun, which is not accurate at all. The, the laser gun that they used in Masters of the Universe was longer. I, I just remember that's inaccurate. There's this knife, which I'm not sure is movie accurate or not. I don't know, but it has some nice etching on it. Looks like it's been used. It's the same sort of holder as the sword. So made by the same uh, person. Then there's sort of, the, sort of the rudimentary dagger. And I am rotating that in my fingers. But there isn't anything, it's a completely smooth handle. And then the blade is completely sort of uniform. It's nice. I don't. I think it's probably uh, movie accurate that he had a couple knives and a laser gun. I know he had the laser gun and a sword. Because I think he was in the movie poster with the gun. Or am I thinking about something else? I could be. I could be thinking about something else. But I think that laser gun is not long enough. Masters of the Universe He-Man. He's got the the armor. It's got very cool etchings in it. There's a little bit of um there's no wash in there, but it's coming out really nice on camera. You can kind of see it as different colors. Maybe there is a wash. I, I I'm mistaken. There's a wash. Because I could definitely see a little bit of uh, real real dark stuff that they didn't wipe away right right above the strap. Of course he's got the, the thing in the dead center of his chest. It's nicely etched. He's got the um, the things around his arm. I don't know what they're called. But he's got those. He's got the belt buckle that has the same sort of design or same sort of motif as the thing on his chest. The, the armor on his legs has some really nice etchings. And I don't know if they match any of the other etchings. But they're very cool. The, the cape is cloth goods, which I appreciate. Um, oh, the sword goes right through here. There's enough room. The cape leaves the space for the for the sword. I see. And there it is. It sticks out through the through the through the cape down the back into the scabbard. Marshmallow fanboy figuring out things that action figures can do since forever. I'm gonna say forever. Okay. So <laughs> those are the details. Of the figure, the cape, I was going to show you this this lining on the cape. Now, for those of you who have it, you're probably like, oh, that's really nice design. And I'm going to ruin it for you. Because I think what it looks like is a bunch of aliens wielding swords. Ooh, we have swords. Ooh, we have swords. 
We're aliens and we have swords. And maybe I didn't ruin it for you. Maybe you're just like, eh, he's weird. So let's go over the articulation. Up, not at all. Down is more neutral than down. Well, that's neutral. And that's a that's okay down. It's kind of down. No side to side. Whole figure moves when you do that. Because of the the giant uh, plates over the shoulders that don't float on the shoulders or anything. He can he can get his arm all the way around. He can't get his arm very close to his body because the, the hinge doesn't move any closer than that to his body. Wingspan is about like that. His arms don't move out very far. The um, the hinges on the arm arm joints aren't very big. Bicep swivel. Double elbow. Wrist swivel. Wrist hinge. Mid torso rocker and waist twist. Ball jointed legs. Thigh swivel. Double knees, he can kick his own butt, but actually he can kick the middle of his back. Looks like the armor is comes over the kneecap, so it doesn't impede any of the articulation. Boot swivel. Ankle hinge. And ankle rocker. And that is Skeletor in He-Man from the Masterverse line. From Masters of the Universe, the movie. The live action movie with Dolph Lundgren. Are they completely accurate? I feel like Skeletor is. I don't know. But he feels accurate. And that's good enough for me. Because I'm not going to pull them up and judge them side by side. When I see this one, I instantly go back to that movie. So I don't know if it's completely accurate. I know that's not a Dolph Lundgren portrait. I know that they probably didn't want to spring for the likeness. I don't care. Not everything... Even if, if even if they had been aiming for Dolph Lundgren, and for all I know, they were completely aiming for Dolph Lundgren. They completely missed. So, maybe it was supposed to be Dolph Lundgren, and I'm just being very insulting right now and going, that doesn't look like anything 
like Dolph Lundgren. But my feeling is that they weren't going for it because they didn't want to pay the likeness. My feeling is that sometimes with the with the Ultimates, and I'm not talking about like G.I. Joe and, and that, but I think with the early figures, they were going for the likenesses. So I think those were as accurate as humanly possible, and they looked good. But these are not them. <laughs> and these are awesome. I am super happy with them. I'm happy to have them in my collection. So until next time, enjoy your toys.